We have. It's not the hippos that I promised you, unfortunately. I th well, actually, not unfortunately. It's something even better. Yesterday, I think it was, I was discussing three banded plovers and how I once found a nest when I was guiding at Sabi Sabi. And I was so scared that people were going to drive over the nest that I actually made this really cool little fort around it. I collected some big logs and my, myself and my tracker, we made like about a, a two meter, or maybe it was even bigger, five by five sort of square around it so that the cars wouldn't drive over her and her nest. But isn't this great that we managed to find one? We must try and watch this, this uh, nest develop. But it's a very, very basic nest. As you can see, it's a little scrape. They typically make it quite close to the water's edge. And they'll sometimes try and prepare these scrapes, you know, more than one, up to about seven in one go before they eventually um, make their, their choice. But it's nice. I even just saw a moment ago a pair of turtle doves doing the courtship process. So I'm so excited now because it gives us something um, to look after but wouldn't it be great to be able to to watch us I'm just checking the breeding season when they or when they typically start laying their eggs if it is normal for this time of the year mainly Western Cape no we're far away from the Western Cape let's go around okay so anywhere from now from July to December in this particular area so this is not unnormal as at all this is actually completely normal and then I'm not actually even sure who makes the nest. You know, I, you know, this is the thing about all these different birds, is that it's hard to remember these things. So I'm just checking there. I really wish she would she would stand up, and and walk around so we could see the eggs. But I have got my egg and nest book out, so we should be able to show you a picture of uh, of the nest of the eggs. I'm just checking here. Okay, should I show you a picture very quickly? I don't think she's gonna go anywhere. Oh, hang on, wait, 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 sorry, sorry, Seb. I, I, as I said that, Murphy's Law, can you believe it? Look, she's shuffling. We might get a view of her eggs. I don't know how many she's got. They normally lay two to three. Look at them, come on, no, stand up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's just trying to keep them nice and warm. Shuffling about, oh, that's a pity. But we'll come back here, uh, definitely throughout the days. I'll tell Tristan. Uh, where her, her nest is and luckily for her she's in a spot where a person wouldn't necessarily want to go and drive down here so she's actually chosen a very good spot to position I always find I say this that birds choose the most awkward spots especially if they're nesting on the ground and I and I it's a wrong because we have come in and we're invading their their land have a look here though there is a little egg so almost gray and black in color completely camouflaged on the ground so they don't make their nests around pebbles they do prefer sort of sandy soils or a little bit of grass around there I know some birds prefer to have pebbles around for instance like the kitlets plover if you go up a little bit more and we need to actually keep an eye out for them because we should see them up here too but look at those nests so they make their nests slightly different same color eggs though and relatively similar size too but they make it more in a stony area to camouflage. Now, Megan from Final Control would like to know, <laughs> would the snake eat the eggs? Of course it would, and so would that monitor lizard. But let me tell you, I'd be very nervous if that I was that monitor lizard coming towards this area. We've seen three banded plovers chase many different bird species away just from water's edge where they've been feeding. So you come near this nest and you're gonna get it both from mom and dad. Uh, they will not stand for it, they'll mob it, they'll get so upset, they'll probably do something quite similar, of course, as we saw the blacksmith lapwing doing to the warthogs, opening its wings, trying to make themselves look scary, making lots and lots of noise. Of course, though, a water monitor could easily overpower those birds and could eat the eggs, but they would try and peck for the head as well, so it has to be careful that it doesn't get pecked in the eye. I just thought that that was, oh, there we go, she's flown off. She's flown off, she actually looks like she's chasing. We have a look at her eggs quickly. Let's look at the eggs while she'll come back. It's difficult. You know what happened? Oh, let me try and spot them for you. There we go, Seb. Well done. Yeah, there, that's them. Is it? Do you see them though? Oh, we're not on the right spot. I come see. closer. There we go. There, that one. There are the eggs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, just two. That is so interesting. Now, the one that was sitting on the eggs now actually got up. There was a, another little plover that moved in and she obviously wasn't very happy with it because she sw uh, swarmed she swooped on over there and she chased it away but they are the two little eggs they are tiny they are so 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 small 
Well, how great is that? She obviously doesn't feel too threatened by us because I don't think she would have got up and left her nest if she was if she was worried about us. I mean, she didn't alarm, she didn't move, and we were fairly close. Uh, I didn't want to park this close to her, and we're obviously just driving on the track that's here, and then I stopped. But how great is that? Well, it's amazing. I'm so happy we started our search on finding nests. Yay! Now,